doing another cardboard rock video as I've made a lot of rocks using this method, but I wanted to show another way that I use cardboard to make rock through cardboard templates. I've made lots of individual rocks. I've made many cement anvils and a ton of water features using cardboard rock technology. Here's a typical water feature that we did, a spa addition to a pool, a little waterfall in the garden, and then a, the waterfall in the swimming pool, the back section of it was made with cardboard rock technology. The Easter Island statue is another great you know, use for cardboard. That's a big item that's all air. I mean, the form is really close to the ending shape, so it takes a half inch of mud, and that's all you need. You don't define the shape with the mud. You just basically are looking for the structure. The whale's tail bench, again, made with cardboard rock. Get the shape as close as you can to what you hope to end up with. Mud it with a thin, strong mud that's fiber reinforced, and then sand it, polish it, seal it, and stain it, and you're, you're out the door. Okay, I wanted to show you the project that I did use cardboard technologies to make this very steam shower. All the arches above, the dome ceiling, the the ledge all the rock in this thing was literally templated with cardboard then i took the cardboard and i put it on my molds traced it out on my molds and i casted specific sized panels to where i didn't have any waste i didn't need to cut i just literally made all of this with cardboard templates i use cardboard for so much as this video kind of shows just another methodology of my processes where again cardboard is always in my shop and ready to be used okay the first thing i templated was this seat which i was fitting for the first piece in the shower okay the first five rocks that i'm made using cardboard templates are being fitted prior to the installation okay in this clip you're seeing the five stones that for the wall is already installed i'm now getting ready to mud the seats in place in this clip the seats are finished and now i'm working on the stack stone horizontal band that you'll see go all the way around the shower and above that is cardboard templating again i wanted to see the effect of my shelf and and then it goes all the way around this shower as well now you're seeing the actual ledge have been completed the forms are still there while it dries but now i'm starting to work on these arches which i'm cardboard templating as well this particular clip really brings home why the cardboard template i originally made the arches much wider and once i saw them up then i decided to make them smaller like the one on the left at that point the 20 inch octagon uh cover light rock cover went from 20 inches down to 14. again templating saves you a lot of time and effort in this clip the arch templates are all perfectly ready to be casted into panels now i'm fitting the rocks that go above the ledge one of the center on each side has the shower head coming through it so it's a little different all again being made with cardboard templates now you're seeing me use the cardboard templates wherein i'm casting the individual pieces again no waste of mud no cutting just cast them and you're ready to start using them now we can see the actual pieces that i've just casted in place and uh, ready to go to the next step Okay, the next step I'm showing you is that I put the castings for the arches up, screwed them in place, and I'm getting ready to apply a fiber reinforced mixture to cement them in place. Okay, the next thing I start to do with the cardboard template is I have a cove which is going to be double radius, a horizontal radius and a vertical radius. So I've made a cardboard box, if you will, template of the cove area. I did for every cove. Next, you're going to see me out back putting the foam that I'm going to carve into the actual box to make the foam radius as I want it to be so I can cement it in place. Now you'll see that the foam is carved sitting on the bench ready to install. Then you see it installed up in the cove and I'm um, moving on to the next phase. The next thing you see me cardboard templing is the octagon light cover rock. It's also a electrical conduit access housing, if you want to call it that. 
the last thing I had to template was the actual header rock for above the door and the last little arch. And uh, then I'm going to make those panels and I should be all complete. I wanted to show you my newest project. It's a 5x6 steam shower made from faux rock panels. I've got a nice uh, domed ceiling that's backlit, the uh, domed arches. And then uh, I've got the band of stacked stone and uh, rust colored diamonds and uh, tiles up on top. It's got a forehead uh, shower. Gets really nice water pressure because I plumbed it all with three quarter inch plumbing and then reduced or took out the restriction flow things in there. But it is something that uh, is really unique. And uh, I like uh, I like to make projects that are, how would you say, very unique. So I'm just kind of showing you real quick all around. And uh, the faux rock floor, steam comes out of there. Stick with me, guys.